is known for its highly playable necks, and the C-shaped neck on Breedlove's new Legacy Auditorium feels extremely comfortable. Players accustomed to big necks might not appreciate the slimness, but all along the guitar's length it is easy to play bar chords and single notes, not to mention thumb fretted notes. The Legacy Auditorium has a resplendent voice, articulate in each of its registers, with a sturdy bass, a present mid-range, and a crystal clear treble. It's well suited for finger picking. It picks up the subtlest of nuances, but with a good amount of projection and overhead, it also stands up to forceful strumming with a plectrum. The Legacy Auditorium comes with an LR Bags Anthem True Mic electronic system. This is a tiny microphone mounted just above the surface of the bridge plate so that it functions as if it were positioned outside of the guitar, working in tandem with the traditional undersaddle pickup that bolsters the low end of the sound. The Legacy Auditorium is a medium-sized guitar having a lower bout width of just over 15 inches and a body depth of 3.75. It's made from an interesting complement of tone woods. The top is the standard Sitka spruce, but the back and sides are fashioned out of myrtle wood, a locally sourced species, plentiful in the Pacific Northwest, which is said to have some of the best sonic properties of rosewood and maple. More often used on electric guitars than on acoustics, eastern hard rock maple makes an appearance here in the neck. These woods look splendid together. All have a warm butterscotch hue. The myrtle wood is beautifully figured, especially on the back where a chevron curl reveals itself at certain angles. Ornamentation is downplayed on the guitar, limited to ivoroid body binding, a simple abalone rosette, and delicate wave-shaped outlines for inlays on the fretboard. On the asymmetric headstock, fans of Breedlove will note a new logo. In place of the decades-old B is the company's name spelled out in full. Here's James DePredo playing Breedlove's Legacy Auditorium.